Hi, this is Synth Chaser from SynthChaser.com and uh, it's almost summer and it's a beautiful day outside and I thought uh, we would do something today where we could go outside and uh, do a little electronics experimenting. I picked up these uh, solar panels uh, on eBay from China and uh, they're fairly small and uh, the seller claims that they are one and a half watt 12 volt solar panels and uh, I, I'm a little skeptical and uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to uh, we're, we're going to wire these up and we're going to go outside uh, with this thing which is an electronic load and uh, we're going to test and see if these uh, really meet their rated capacity so before we uh, wire these up and go outside I want to explain what an electronic load is I actually mentioned it uh, I think in my profit 5 video series uh, as a way you can uh, load test your power supply. So what I've done here is I've hooked up a, uh, a benchtop adjustable power supply and I've set it to 12 volts and uh, then I have the uh, the positive uh, output of that connected to the positive in input of the load the negative or ground connected to the ground of the load and then what I can do is I can draw a constant current on this uh, electronic load and it can handle I think about 72 watts this this model I got this one broken um, fairly cheap and uh, I fixed it and got it working well yeah it's a 70 72 watt so what I can do so I'm gonna I can uh, right now I turned it off uh, I'll turn it on and then I can uh, adjust the uh, load in amps up so uh, right now I'm at a uh, 100 milliamps and you see my power supply here is still still handling it well you can see it's well maybe this guy I don't know if this guy's uh, may not be working unless I'm wiggling the uh, button but it's showing about uh, 0.1 amp there we go yeah I guess the switch here is dirty on this so uh, I can uh, increase the draw and you see I'm my supply is aware that I'm drawing that much and I can watch the output voltage and I can see where the uh, output voltage starts to dip to unacceptable levels uh, or it trips the uh, over current protection so right now I'm at half an amp I'm drawing an amp now and this thing is holding up well so this is definitely uh, this this supply definitely works at one amp to at 12 volts. So we'll take it up a little more. One and a half amps, and the power supply is is handling it no problem. And uh, just. Just before two amps, you, you, it tripped the uh, the uh, overcurrent protection, and the voltage dropped. Oops, the voltage dropped way down. So, magic number here at 12 volts on this supply is uh, 1.94 amps. So I'm drawing right now about 24 watts, a little under 24 watts of power. And what we're going to do is we're going to do basically the same thing. Uh, with the solar panel, except uh, instead of the bench top supply, uh, we're going to uh, <coughs> use the solar panel. And uh, this also can measure the voltage, but uh, I can just hook up a multimeter too to see the voltage um, on the panel. Um, and that'll, so my multimeter will tell me this number here. And uh, what we'll do is we will uh, just constantly, or uh, we'll, we'll increase this, uh, the current draw until the voltage drops uh, below acceptable levels and uh, and we'll, we'll determine what the true wattage and capacity of these solar panels are so uh, I'm going to wire some wires to the back, you have to solder to the back, so I'll do that and then we'll, we'll head outside outside and, and we're ready to get going so I'm going to turn the multimeter on and this will measure the uh, voltage on the solar panel and let's peel the, uh, the little uh, protective plastic off. 
and right now the sun is directly overhead and with uh, no load attached to the solar panel we're getting 13.61 volts and uh, you know as someone who picked this up off eBay and then takes it outside and tests it with their multimeter oh well, the voltage is a little yeah it, it fluctuates a little I guess as the intensity of the Sun changes but um, you know on the surface this looks pretty good um, but what we're going to do now is we're going to turn on the uh, the load and the uh, the load will turn on after I reset the GFCI that it's plugged into uh, apparently I haven't used this outlet in a while and uh, what we're going to do so we'll turn turning on the electronic load and uh, it is kind of hard to read because it's right in the sun so let me see if I can do something about that not really I can't can't really do anything about this so uh, I'll just narrate where we're at and uh, I'm going to turn the load up uh, to 50 millivolts so at 50 millivolts or 0 0.05 amps the voltage has dropped down to uh, 12.67 um, and if this really is a one and a half watt 12 volt panel uh, we should be able to draw uh, 125 milliamps without that voltage dropping too much below 12 volts so I'm gonna nudge the uh, the power supply the uh, load up again so now I'm at uh, 60 milliamps and our voltage has dropped to 12.37 so uh, that's that's still acceptable let's go up a little more so we're at uh, 70 milliamps and voltage has dropped to 12.12 .12 volts go a little more now I'm at uh, 80 milliamps so uh, I'm not even at uh, two-thirds of the uh, rated uh, wattage and uh, the voltage has dropped to 11.84 volts let's let's keep going and see where this uh, winds up so at 90 millivolts I'm down to 11.56 I'm at 100 millivolts and I'm at 10.91 millivolts and uh, it's all over the place now it's bouncing between 7. Point Seven and eight point two. So I think at uh, I think the last point that we get any 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 useful um, measurement out of this is at one hundred uh, milliamps. So uh, now let's take the data that we collected and uh, and plot this and see what the true uh, wattage of this uh, solar panel is. So here's the data that we just collected, uh, put into Excel and. Uh, font size and large so you can actually read it so I was taking measurements with the electronic load uh, increasing the uh, the load by 10 milliamps on each data point and I was measuring the voltage on the solar panel and with these two numbers we can calculate the wattage uh, and uh, as you can see uh, the the best uh, the, the highest uh, we were able to uh, to get it to produce was uh, 1.09 watts and the uh, the panel is rated at one and a half watts so it uh, it falls short of uh, of what it was advertised and um, buying cheap Chinese parts on eBay I'm not totally surprised but actually if anything I'm surprised that it that it did this well um, the other way to look at it would be uh, it, it was a one and a half watt 12 volt solar panel and uh, if you look at dips below 12 volts here at the 70 milliamp um, point so it, you know if, if you want to truly uh, look at all the specifications at 12 volts it's really only 0.85 watts so that's pretty significantly under what was advertised so it would take a lot of these panels uh, chained together 
to uh, to power a synthesizer outside, and uh, your concert would have to get canceled if some clouds came over. Uh, but really, uh, the point of this video, I think, is just to take a look at uh, satisfy my curiosity about these solar panels that I picked up, but also kind of beware about the uh, the products that you buy on eBay, particularly from overseas. Uh, there's a lot of uh, semiconductors. Um, transistors and ICs um, that are rare and obsolete and needed in synthesizers and uh, there's a lot of uh, overseas sellers uh, selling them at reasonable prices um, but unfortunately the majority of them are fake um, and they don't deliver on the specifications of the original or what was promised just like the solar panel Anyway, this is Synth Chaser from SynthChaser.com. Hopefully you found this uh, interesting. And uh, I'll uh, be back in another video uh, where I'll do more synthesizer repair. Thanks for watching. Bye.